<sighs> okay, so big news out of the Rangers front. Um, not good news by any means. Bad news, more so. Uh, Kevin Trent Kirk is now out for well over a month. And he has... All right, I'm not even going to fucking ball with this shit. He has torn a meniscus. His meniscus. Uh, so that ain't good. That's certainly uh, pretty friggin' bad. Considering... The way our team looks right now. And just for perspective, let me just pull this up. The Rangers recalled Kentnaki. Don't know why. And D'Angelo. Uh, it doesn't make no effing sense. Uh, to tell you the truth, I don't see how Kentnaki gets called up and not Filipito. Anderson just got sent back to Hartford. He could have called him up, but he's rehabbing, so fine. I'll give that to you. Adam Tambellini. He's still sitting in the minor leagues. Um, Joe Whitney's not bad. It's just, I think it was more so because Kent Knock is probably going to be the 13th forward. Because I don't see Carrie Holland or Foss or anybody. I don't see them coming out of the lineup. So I guess it's a 13th forward idea. Sure. Let the young guys play. But if you're trying to insert them into the lineup or God forbid someone else gets hurt, you got to see Heedle or Anderson or Tambouli in the NHL. Now, what I think would be a good idea, even if they don't play would be to recall Ryan Graves. Let him be the seventh defenseman. For obvious reasons, the guy the guy's just the beast. All right, I, I love Ryan Graves. I, he's 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 um he he's just solid. I personally I would I would like to see him in the NHL this year. I think he could squeeze in a game or so. Uh, even if he's just a seventh defenseman until Mark Stoll comes back, I don't see what what the harm in that is. I think it'd be a good idea. But right now we we've got to assess because we're down Shattenkirk, which is. One of our biggest weapons on the power play. So on the power play, who replaces Kevin Shattenkirk? Uh, it's bad enough as it is. We only have Zabanajad and Lechieri as our righties on the power play. So you need a righty at the point. So I think I think you put D'Angelo on the top pair for the power play. So you have D'Angelo, Buknevich, uh, Zabanajad, Nash, and who else with them? Zuccarello? <sighs> I guess so. I'm, I mean, I might switch out. No, you can't. Never mind. Well, no, you can. I might switch out Miller, Zuccarello, and then for the second power play, have McDonough, Shea, Zook, Lachiri, and DeHarnay, or something along the lines of that. But you need a righty at the point on your top power play. You just you just need that. And let Zubanej take the one timers. But I don't know. This this does not look good. <laughs> um, this certainly doesn't make selling or buying any easier. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. Uh, again, my my only take on this is that we should just we sh everything's fine. The recalls, whatever. We've got to call up. I think Ryan Graves to be our seventh defenseman because I don't know how long Stoll and Hayes are going to be out. Hayes is in a non-contact jersey practice, and Stoll apparently is coming back soon. Honestly, the reason Shattenkirk's out so long is because he didn't rest up in the beginning of the season and get the surgery done with faster. He played throughout the entirety entirety of this season with that injury. He didn't rest it. We're getting taken care of, which is why he's out for long term now at the worst point. So let Hayes and Stoll rest for the entire trip. If we go over four in this trip, who gives a shit? We're a cusp team, anyways. So let him let him play sink or swim, and go from there. All right, that's my take. Comment down below your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.